G'day folks, my name's Shane. There seems to be a whole lot of confusion online about how compressor pedals work, what the functions do, and the best way to use them. In this video, I'll explain what all the controls on a compressor does, and the best way to use them, and also how it changes the feel and attack of your notes as well. The pedal I'll feature in this video is the Kali 76 by Origin FX. It's arguably the best compressor I've had a chance to use. They also make a massive one as well. This is kind of like the smaller one. If you want to find out more about this particular compressor, I'll post all the links on screen and in the description below. It's a great sounding compressor pedal and I thought I'd show you a little bit about not only how this particular one sounds, but how to use them and how to get the most out of it for your sound. Let's get into it. All right, let's kick this off. I'm playing my 52 Heavy Relic Fender Telecaster into a Blues Deluxe Reissue Amp. This is the clean tone on both pickups. Let's just turn the pedal on with everything at 12 o'clock and the toggle switch currently down and we'll hear the difference and then I'll explain a bit about what's going on. Alright, so as you can hear there's a big difference between the pedal on and off. Off again. And back on. Essentially what the compressor pedal is doing is taking my signal and kind of leveling it out. It's bringing up the quiet parts of my playing. It's also squashing the louder parts and giving you a more constant tone. If you're playing some funky rhythm stuff or even country guitar, there's almost nothing better on your pedal board than one of these. It's one of those sounds that really makes a huge difference, especially for the rhythmic stuff in my opinion. It can also make for an awesome boost pedal in front of another overdrive. We're gonna test that out as well. Let's take a look at the controls first and then we'll take it from here. On the right we have a compressor control. The further right we turn this, or clockwise, the more compression we're gonna get and the more gain we're gonna get in our signal. It's basically like a studio grade preamp. So the further right you have it, the hotter the signal is gonna get. Let's try this again. So there's a big difference there. Let's just go ahead and crank it up a little more. Beautiful. What the output does is essentially set the output of the pedal. So the further right we have it, the louder it's gonna get. Let's try this. Let's try it again with the pedal off, and this is kind of the beauty of running it like this. It basically turns into a transparent compressor. Back on. Probably just need to notch up the volume just a hair. Nice. What I dig about the Kali 76 is it has one attack release control in the center. The further to the left we have this particular control, the quicker it's actually gonna squash your signal. Let's take a listen. All the way to the right. So you can definitely hear a difference in the output volume as well. And also it feels very different. It feels more amp-like with it to the right, in my opinion, and with it all the way to the left, it's squishing your signal nice and quick. If you want more pick attack, you definitely have to have it to the right or anywhere in between. Actually, let's try it at about three o'clock. Mm -hmm. 
Feels great. Let's turn it off just for an example. Cool. Another great thing about this pedal too is the attack release control right in the center. Having it down, it feels a whole lot more transparent than with it up. It just depends on what kind of thing you're going for. So this is with it down. Toggle switch up. With the toggle switch up, you're definitely gonna get a whole lot less dynamics. It's just gonna kind of smooth and even everything out. That's a simple way of explaining it in terms of how it feels and how it sounds. Down. Nice. In the instruction manual, there's three really great presets and this one is country picking. So let's give this a shot. Let's try with that off. Now you know why all the country players use a compressor. That sounds great. Yeah, I dig it. This next one's called Dynamic Control. This is going to catch what I play really quickly and squish it before it has a chance to get loud. Let's have a listen. So it doesn't really matter how hard I pick, it's gonna kind of balance out the volume. Cool. This next one's called Percussive and Lively. It sounds awesome with chords. It will essentially allow the chords to kind of ring out really beautifully. Let's check this out. Let's try that with it off. The one thing to keep in mind using any compressor pedal is the fact that it will boost anything that's going through the signal. So if you're getting a bit of buzz, it's gonna boost the buzz. It's just one of those things, all compressor pedals do it. Fact is, this one though has a studio grade preamp in it, which is gonna make the signal sound a whole lot nicer. Let's try the compressor now, getting pushed into an overdrive pedal. I've chosen the Buffalo FX Carrera overdrive for this test. Let's give this a go. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If I missed anything in this video and you have any follow-up questions, please post in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Let me know what you think of this particular compressor pedal and also if this video was helpful in understanding how compressor pedals work and sound and what they can do to your dynamics, please give the video the thumbs up. I absolutely appreciate that. Don't forget to click subscribe and also click the bell. you get future updates from my channel. 
If this particular video was helpful and you want to see more like it, check the cards. I've got a playlist of videos very much like this. Overall, this is a really great sounding compressor pedal. I'm wrapped. A huge thanks to Origin FX for sending this out. I could have just done a conventional demo, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to actually use this in a video to explain how compressor pedals work and the benefits within them. Thanks again for watching, folks. Really appreciate it. Catch you soon. See ya.